day is done it was a long day tough day today uh, lots going on and now the long drive home this whole driving to work thing is just really it's really challenging I don't know uh, I don't know how people do it now nah, yeah it's not that big of a deal uh, I heard myself say it back in the video uh, yesterday's video and and yeah, maybe kind of laugh uh, driving to work is, if that's the worst part of my day, then I'm doing pretty good, I think. No, uh, no real complaints. One thing going for, for my company today is, uh, we've been running some Facebook ads. And Facebook ads are sort of a tough beast. If you do any kind of search or Google search for, uh, you know, how to run Facebook ads and all the different varieties and types of things you can do with Facebook ads, it gets really confusing and it gets... It's just so in-depth, and I'm, I'd love to at some point in one of these videos sort of do the tactical, here's exactly what we're doing, um, here's where we're looking. And I'm sure we'll do that eventually. Uh, the point right now is that we've, we've been experimenting, and across you know several of the websites we run, um, we've run some Facebook ads to different results. We've had some that have worked really well. Uh, we've had some that have worked really poorly. And I think that what I've figured out more than anything is that the key really is the photo. And I know that seems really obvious, and I'm sure if you've spent any time on Facebook and had ads pop up in your, in your news feed, then the, uh, the obvious thing is, is the photo is what, is what catches you. Uh, today I ran a Facebook ad for Scribe Delivery. Uh, it started running this morning, uh, early in the morning, and I, I uploaded this photo. And when, I, when the ad, of course I, you know, I am the target market for my own company, so I often get targeted by my own ads, which I'm sure some, you know, ad guru will contact me and say, hey, you know, I can, I can get rid of that. You don't have to be targeted by your own ads, but I kind of get a kick out of it at this point. The, uh, the ad, the picture was totally different than what I uploaded. Uh, it had a nice photo, it was cropped really well, looked really good, and then the ad had a completely different crop on it. So I was able to stop the ad, uh, only spent, I don't know, 15 or $20 in total on the ad, uh, and was able to get it stopped. But uh, it's just crazy. I, I've, it's the first time I've seen that happen. And for all the different things we've done with Facebook ads, it, that was the first like real surprise moment that uh, was, was kind of stunning, kind of kind of shocking. So I'm going to play with that a little bit. I'm going to take some new photos tonight and uh, see if we can get it back up and running and get something new going on. But Facebook ads are, you know, are, are, are really good. They still, I think the best return on investment for ads for, for small companies right now is on Facebook. Uh, like I said, we've, we've used them for Scribe Delivery. Um, for Scribe Delivery, we've, we've used them to build Facebook page likes. We've used them to point out features that we're running. Uh, and right now we're, we're just running a straight advertisement aimed at selling subscriptions to Scribe Delivery. Uh, and it's done pretty well. I will say that the uh, our, our customer acquisition cost or the amount of money that we spend to acquire each customer, how much we're willing to pay to get a customer to sign up on our site, uh, it's a little high for where I'd like it to be. Um, and it's a little high for, you know,
know what what you would consider profitability although profitability for scribe delivery is um, I don't want to say it's not an issue because it can be an issue uh, but it's not something we actually focus on which I know probably comes as a surprise to some people um, but it's not something we focus on we're, we're trying to uh, create an experience and we want people to have the best experience possible and that's more what we're into um, we're not taking any money out of the company or anything like that but uh, the current ad you know it's a little high for customer acquisition costs but it works um, and it's probably scalable to to some degree as well. Um, at, a, at a higher scale, it would probably bring that that cost down. You know, we're not we're not spending thousands of dollars on Facebook ads like some companies on are. Um, we're spending hundreds of dollars for sure. Uh, we're also using Facebook ads for our our website, Please Be Cookies, which Please Be Cookies currently doesn't have anything for sale. So that's just more of an awareness campaign and um, getting. Facebook likes and sending traffic to our website, uh, gathering email addresses for when we launch our product, which hopefully will be next week. Like I said, I'm going to cover that in this vlog, uh, and, and you'll probably start to see more of that probably tomorrow. Uh, we'll go over, I'll, I'll, we'll go really in depth with that. Uh, we'll take a look at exactly how we're going to run that company and what we're going to do, uh, and, and try to get some real tactical information in there. Traffic is not looking good. I driving the way that I used to drive home from work, but I stopped because traffic was bad. I thought I'd give it another try, see if anything has changed. Spoiler alert, nothing has changed. Traffic looks worse now than it than it ever has. Someday, someday I'll do an entire episode devoted to Dallas traffic. See how that goes. I mentioned it in the previous video, but that over there, uh, that construction site is a joint project between the Dallas Cowboys and the Frisco Independent School District, as well as a private portion. What you can just barely see peeking out over the top is a football stadium that's going to be used for uh, covered Cowboys practices as well as Frisco ISD football games. Uh, I'm assuming they will add events and stuff to that as well. But this whole facility is the new Dallas Cowboys World Headquarters, which you can just almost see their building on the other side here. I'll come around the other side of it. But this, this facility is amazing. See the big Ford Center sign over there? And then that building is the Cowboys headquarters. It's really cool. Pretty amazing stuff. Taking a nighttime excursion, gonna go see if I can find something. See how this goes. Uh, plus side, wife letting me take the nice car. I'm on the hunt. Not a successful trip, but an almost successful trip. I think I found what I was looking for, but I can't be for sure. But I'll give you a hint of what it was that I was looking for. I'm partially looking for office space. The company is almost to the size where we're going to need to start looking for warehouse space and for office space. So I'm starting to casually look for that. But that's not the real reason I was out. Okay, one hint for what I was looking for. I was 
trying to scope out and see if I could find the new Dude Perfect headquarters. I think I found it. I could be totally wrong, but I think I found it. You can't post videos on YouTube and not be impressed by the Dude Perfect guys. It's either them or Casey Neistat or any number of people like that. Nonetheless, when the opportunity presents itself to go looking for their headquarters, you go. Even if you just end up finding the old one. <laughs>